<laughs> Fucking the wonders of live recording. I did put on mute a minute ago and I forgot to turn it off, so we are back again. A proper meltdown. Indeed, Mark Mills. Fucking hell. I'm going to have a vape. I know you can hear me now. So just give us a th thumbs up if you can actually hear me now. Fucking hell, let's start all over again, shall we? Right, from the top then, let's say hello. Good evening, good afternoon, I should say, everybody, on this Easter Saturday, lovely Saturday afternoon. Right, uh, so I am doing a live review of the G-Taste Aries 30mm RTA. The two reasons being, one, I'm a lazy bastard and can't be bothered to record it, and two, I thought it'd be good to touch base on the channel with all my wonderful subscribers. So here we are today, guys. So how are you all doing? Hope you're all doing very well indeed and all staying safe in this current awful environment we're all living in. Right, let's just say hello to a few people then. We've got Simon Bridgewood, Grant, Reverend Vates, Mark Mills, Andy Harris, Nick Jode, Chris Dahl, what's up, buddy? Modus. Uh, who else we got? Bav Z307. Uh, and who else? Jose. And that's about it, the attorney. So I wasn't expecting many in here. It doesn't matter anyway, because it will be recorded and it will be on the channel later on uh, anyway. So I'll show you what I'm vaping on first before we go on to anything else, uh, because I've been testing out this Aries. I've had it a long time and... Um, and it three good two or three months I think now. And could I bake some keto scones at the same time? No, not today, mate. That's I've found that uh, doing the old MF bait things, I don't mind baking and taking some photographs, but I just can't be bothered to set up all the equipment required to to do it because um, yeah, I work all day every day and the weekends just want to chill out a little bit. So it's just going to be on Instagram, really, the old MF Vape Rev, and I will put the recipes on there. But, uh, yeah, so I've been testing out this Aries for about three months or so, and because of the coronavirus and everything else, I just haven't got round to reviewing it. So I thought today we've got a long weekend. I had a day off yesterday, went for a nice uh, little walk. Today I thought, right, I'm going to do a little live review. Do the Aries RTA get that out of the way and keep Source more happy because they have kindly supplied this one for review. Hence, you can see their logo on the screen. And yeah, I've been putting this one through its paces. I've been trying out a few of my other 30 millimeter ones. Mark Mills, he's got two on the go at the moment. Nice one, Mark. But we have been testing it against the Trilogy RTA by Vapors Cloud. We've got the original Aromizer Plus here which is by Steam Crave. We've also got the Fatality. This is a clone version, which I got from Fast Tech. We've also got the FP as well. So, and that's by Blitz Enterprises and the, the one and only TVP. And uh, the one I've been testing this week is the Glass V2. And to be honest, I'm really enjoying the Glass V2. All of the other ones have got really good flavor as well. So. What I was thinking was, with the Aries, I was thinking it tastes better than all the rest of them. So I thought, well, wick her up today and we'll give a, a bit of a live uh, test in. Now, I think the Glass V2 is my favourite for taste, 30 millimetre wise. Not everyone's going to agree with that, but that's why I think. I just think you get a nice crisp flavour. Uh, I'm not putting up against any 24s or 25s, but to be honest, I'm thinking the Aries is actually getting uh, giving me the the best flavor from any rta at the moment so let's just um sort this out right so just let it settle in a little bit and have a little swig a little puff right so we've got the go for vape double up rta on the smock morph here this is my favorite single coil director lung so uh, this is always on the go for me. I just love it. And something else we've got is the Narada Pro 
uh, which is by Org Vape and Vaporizzo, I think it is. And the review can be found for that one on the channel already. So do check out this one. I do. It's a rebuildable atomizer pod thing here. Uh, cracking little draw you get from this. So if you haven't done already, check out the Narada Pro, and it is on the channel already. The attorney, is it the Steam Cray Plus competitor? Well, I have got the Plus here. Uh, I like the Steam Cray Plus, but I don't think um, it's not my favorite tank for flavor. It's got really good flavor. But like I said, all of these other ones that I've uh, just shown you on my little carousel here, we've got the FP, we've got the Trilogy, all of these, the Fatality, are all pretty cracking flavor. So. But I am awaiting the Glaz V2, uh, not the Glaz V2, the Aromizer Plus V2 from Steam Crave, but I haven't got it yet, so I don't know if it's got lost in the post or what, but Steam Crave were supposed to be sending one over. Right, so Grant's saying, great flavour, shite build quality. We'll get on to that in a bit then. So a couple more puffs. What's everyone else vaping on anyway? I know Mark Mills has got two on the go at the moment. Cheers, the attorney. Hello to the best reviewer on YouTube, especially for mouth to lung lovers. I appreciate it, mate. Not many times I hear that, so it's very nice to hear that. The F Dillo. This is the F Dillo, mate. There, yeah, UL F Dillo, dual 21700. We've got the Steam Crave Glass V2 on top. And we will be uh, building it using that today as well. Uh, bear in mind, I'm using two Logitech uh, web cameras for this, so you're not going to expect the super 60 frames a second uh, HD that I normally have uh, on my download sections. We've basically just got a, another Logitech, which should be 1080p, but it's just not as good. So it should be adequate, but we'll have to just wait and see. I've never done this before, a live um, review with two cameras on the go, so you'll have to bear with me. What's up, Uncle G? Right, let's get on with it then. Stop uh, messing around. I think we've got uh, the people in here that were going to join me. Got about 31 watching, so that's really good to see. So, right, from the wonders of modern technology, we are going to switch to the download camera. I'll just read out what people are on here as well, actually. Nick Joe, Vapor SO Gem with the Profile RDA, Smock 85 with the Profile RTA. Chris Maley, BMM Tiny version 2.5 and the Jenna RDA with the slam cap. Never tried the Jenna RDA, but um, yeah, that was one that you had to jump through hoops uh, to get that one, I do believe. One of J Jay Hayes's ones, wasn't it? And who's the people who made it? Can't quite remember now. Just to tell you the juice I'm on, actually. Got this recently, Zeus uh, juice. Uh, what's it called? Black Reloaded. Really nice. Got that in the, in the double up RTA. And we've got some Jack Rabbit's Mandarin cheesecake, and that is in the Glass V2. And that's what we'll be putting in the Aries today, because I know what it tastes like in the Glass. Expromiser V4 on the Voopy Drab Mini with Samparina from Best Sig Liquid. Chris Mady SQ217 with the Haku Phenom. Fucking Haku Phenom. It's cracking uh, RDA. I've got the clone of it. Noisy Cricket V2D25 with Avacan Manta RT. Avacan Manta really rates. Reviewed that one on the channel recently. It's a bit of a retro review. So if you want to check out my review on that, please do. Found it a little bit seepy myself, that one. Yeah, the Jenna's like the rocking horse shit. Uh, yeah, it certainly is. Right, Glass Mini, there is no V2. Yeah, I've got the Glass Mini, but it's not in here, but that's one of my daily vapes. Voltrove mod with the FP RTA and Just Jam Raspberry. Sounds nice, that one, Chris. Right. Take two. Let's get on to the down low. I don't want this to last too long, and it probably will, because I've got to try and build live on air, which is going to be fun. Let's go down then. There we go. Right, I'm sitting in the top corner there. Uh, do excuse me in chat because I am going to be concentrating on review here. So I'm probably not going to be able to 
answer any questions it will give me. Mark Mills, G Class Aries, 6 mil mode, 3.5 mil jewel with Rubina. Quality, Mark. Uh, we're going to do some 3.5s today, in fact. Right, so here we are then. This is the box. We've got an outer sleeve for this G Taste. Not going to spend too much time on this. Uh, I can try and do this upside down. How do you do it? Really hard to do. So, yeah, we've got a bit of a box going on like that. We've got the usual contents, all that rubbish. So, just take that off. This is going to be hard because it's upside down. So, there we go. We've got uh, G Taste written on there. We've also got the logo on that side and social media, blah de blah on that side. And we've got uh, scratch and check for the authenticity. Right, so we have got thumb cutouts on this to make the box a little bit easier to get open. So there we go. Right, you get a little user manual here. Got the uh, content exploded view and all of that. So if you're into RTAs, you're probably not going to look at that anyway. Right, we do get a little baggie here. And looks like we've got three cores in here. And we've got some cotton. NI80, 0.6 ohm per core, 3 mil. And yeah, there's your cotton as well. We're not going to use that. I'm going to use what I normally use. Right, inside we'll get a little baggie here. Just take this out. This comes in very handy. This is for like tightening to how on the uh, top base. We've got a little tri tool there, and we've also got a bit of an autumn colour drip tip going on. And we've also got, it looks like we've got six spare. Uh, hex style grub screws in the bag so that's good to see right let's get this lot out we have got a little spanner in here as well anyone that's just joining me welcome to the channel thanks for joining in right here's the little spanner that comes with it we also get the glass section That's in reduced mode, that is. Can't quite remember what uh, mills you get in this. It should say somewhere. It's either 5 and 10 or something like that. Is it saying here? Mark Mills will probably be able to tell me. Is it uh, 6 mil with 3.5, is it? Yeah, you're not going to see on there, but it's 6 millilitres and 10 mil, the capacity, and we've got 30 millimetre base. Right, so there's that glass, we'll put that to one side. So here is the uh, Aries RTA for you. Just see if I can get some light on here, a bit better. So I'm doing this in the daylight and it's a bit different from how I'd normally do it, but to try and get a, a little bit of air in here. So here's the RTA. So on the top, you'll see we have got uh, an 810 fitting drip tip there. Nice drip tip, but um, a little bit too big for my liking on the top we have got the clear o-ring inside there which unfortunately i've got the black one so you're not going to be able to see it very well right on the bottom then we've got aries usual sort of markings designed by g taste gold plated uh, 510 pin the usual markings and if you turn it to the side it does protrude a little bit and we've also got the peak insulator that does uh, surround it but always check if you're going to be using this on a mechanical uh, device although this has got a adjustable adjustable pin uh, this uh, 510 because it actually comes in two parts you can take it all apart I'm not going to do it now but it does come in two parts so let's have a look at the top fill on it right so Mark's just saying the early versions did not come in a spanner fortunately my one did so in the top of here we've got uh, a clear o-ring around here and there's your threads in there really nice threads on this top cap as well all right excuse uh, the picture quality it is um it's not picking up too well in there actually but you can just see we've got some decent sized filling ports there so on the bottom or around here i should say you've got um, your adjustable airflow now this is basically 
it's just one ring that spins round. So you can try and knock the holes off like that or have it like fully open. And if you go a little bit further, you can sort of have just one slit of uh, rose in there. It really isn't picking up on there, but uh, yeah, it has got adjustable airflow and stuff like that. I really wanted a stainless steel one, but we've got the black, so you can't see it very well. But you can fine tune that. To be honest, the way I have it is with all of the holes open, as you can just uh, see there. So that's your adjustable airflow. Let's take it all apart now. So this base, that comes off like that. Look inside of here. So we've got a little bit of dome in there. It's actually quite flat. It's not uh, as much dome as you'd normally see. But if you look on the top, we've got two like uh, recessed notches here, which line up with the deck. And we've got quite a large uh, bore down, down the chimney as well with this one. But you can just see here, there are your um, airflow holes on either side. This is really our work because it's back to front. It's doing my nothing. But um, let's take it all apart, show you how to put it in. The other mode for you right so that little spanner piece let's just take the top of that off that is for using to take this chimney part off <laughs> which is bloody impossible to do at the moment all the o-rings are falling off what am i doing so let's grab a hold of something. Right, so this spanner, this is what the trilogy needed really. Because I found that a real bugger to get apart. What's up David? How you doing? Thanks for joining us. Yeah, it is proper live this one, mate. It might be in absolute Rita here I can't get the bloody thing open what way does it go Mark I'll tell you what I'm gonna have to get the fucking marigolds out right where's that vent this is what this is for just fucking remembered all right get that in there god a bloody mighty Right, that bit comes off. So this bit's all one piece. But the extender piece, right, we've got O-rings on, on there as well and on here as well. So if you want to put it in shorty mode, just do that. Make sure you don't use these bloody O-rings as well. Because they always go walkabouts and they don't fit very well. Look at it. Piece of shite. One thing with this, um, yeah, the, the O-rings are shocking on there. So when you've got it all together, it's not quite so much of a problem, but it's like they're too stretched. Fucking can't get the bastard back in. Anyway, Chinesium tolerances. Is there any other O-rings around here? There's one on there. Let's put that, let's see if that one's better. Oh God, I'm starting to, Regret doing this live. It's a bloody nightmare. Right, so put that on there. That's shorty mode now. Get this top piece. That's like that. You can see there's the holes there. That's for uh, juice to go down into the um, the chamber. You just see there we've got some juice uh, ports just on either side as well. I could say, excuse the quality. <laughs> Mark Mills, uh, I'm glad you like. I'm put, doing this the wrong bloody round, way round now. I'll tell you what, this is why doing it not live is so much easier. God's sake, what am I doing?
If I, I'm fucking missing a piece, you know. I put that on the wrong way round. Absolute numpty. Right, put that right here. <laughs> Anyone who's just joining me, if you want a proper review on this, go and watch someone else's channel because I'm trying to do it live and it's going a little bit tits up. Right, put it back together like that. That is how you do it. Put the bottom O-ring on. There you go. I missed the bottom O-ring as well. Piece of shit. Oh. I'll tell you what, a meltdown is nearly hit. I think we're going to leave this in shorty mode, I tell you. Fuck's sake, this is a piece of shit. <laughs> anyway, that's how you put it in shorty mode. I'm going to put it back in 10 mil mode because you fit more juice in it. Fucking God, I hate it. Right, do that. That's better. It's easier to do it with a 10 mil mode. What's up, Lane? Yeah, all right. I found the other O-ring, guys. All right. Right, so that's it. Back together. Right, I'm going to have a little vape a minute. <laughs> oh, dear. I'll tell you what. Let's go up top a minute because I'm just... I need a little break from this. It's doing my nothing. That was uh, quite amusing. Like... How long have we go been going now already? About half an hour, and I haven't even broken the tank apart. But uh, what's up, Steve? Meltdown. Well, he's nearly here, but I'm having a laugh, mate. About to smash the place up. Right, I am going to have a vape because I need to chill. The turning, I prefer it in 6 mil as well, to be honest. In fact, let's do it. Well, I'm going to do it, put it in 6 mil while it's not showing you what I'm doing, because then it'll be easier. And we'll just carry on going. I've felt too much pressure doing it live. There you go. <laughs> the tank is back together. Mike is falling apart. Too fucking true, man. I can't bloody... It's really hard to get it the right way around. I keep thinking it's the other way around. It would be funny having to build off using that RTA. Well, it's... The build off isn't the problem, uh, Jackie. The problem is taking it all apart. Bloody hell. Putting it back together. I'll tell you what, when you're watching these like normal reviews, obviously me revving chat there, we can all edit the buggery out of them basically. So you just put in what you need to do. So you don't see all of this stuff, but oh dear, I'm hoping you're enjoying it. It's taken me an age to do. But I have just put it back in shorty mode now. So I was cheating and I wasn't showing you what I was doing, but you get the gist of it. So this is it in shorty mode, and it looks a lot better, so we are going to leave it in that mode today. But right, who else is here then? Let's have a little say hello to the other people that are joining us. We've got 40 in for a Saturday afternoon. I'm pretty uh, over the moon with that. It's a really good game. Thanks very much for joining me, guys. Right, we've had a little bit of a, of a, a meltdown there. What else have we got then? D.E. Right, Rick Mahoney. Maybe the spare O-rings are better, but probably not. Uh, I think I lost one of the O-rings, mate. The future of the shows on, on Saturdays, it's every other week, uh, D.E. On TVP's channel. Always on TVP's channel now. It's only banter, mate. Uh, you can just see in the corner of the screen the logo there, which I've just... Couldn't even grab all that properly. Right, let's have a, a little measure of it. I've got some lovely little uh, calipers here. Got them from 
Amazon, but they're pretty good going. Right, this should be 30 mil. So coming out at 29.79 on there. So take the drip tip off and go from top to bottom. Right, we're 43.2 in height with that. And if you put the other bit on, you're going to be another five or six mil taller. So remember your chimney piece. Don't uh, lose that, whatever you do. Remember to use this piece for tightening down this part as well, but I would advise not having the actual base on when you're doing that. Just sort of want to grab hold of it and do it. Just like that. Just like that. Right. Let's have a look at the deck then. Put it on my little Atty dock here. Just seemed like the show has lost its spark. Be good to see a variety of different guests, guests every week. I thought the last show was pretty good uh, last time, to be honest. We had about 350 people in there, so it can't have been that bad. And, um, but anyway, yeah, I don't think it's going on tonight because, like I say, I'm doing this anyway and I wanted to chill this time. We agreed every other week, so I don't believe it's going on. Right, here's the deck section then. So, this is a triple core deck. If you want to do it like that, I'm not doing it in triple core because, to be honest, it's quite a restrictive vape and with three cores in it, it's going to be even more restrictive. But if you are going to do it in triple core, you want to make sure this middle core is slightly higher than the other two. But let's try and have a look at this. Excuse the quality, like I say. What I can try and do is just adjust the focus and try and get in a little bit closer. What's up, Mark Benson? Ah, oh, it works better, I believe. So I'm probably getting my missus taking the piss in chat as ever. But right, how did that work? Yeah, that looks a little bit better, doesn't it? Right. So we've got some mahusive wicking ports on each side here, and you just notice there that's where your juice is fed in through there. Try and show this properly. Right, we've got hex style grub screws here and here. They're pretty good screws, actually. They haven't chewed on me or anything. So you've got both of them on either side. And then on this side, if you look through one of the, the wicking ports, for the middle set of holes, you need to... Where's the camera? You need to unscrew these ones for the middle set of holes here. Right, this positive block does actually come out. Uh, I think it's that one there, the one that's got the actual s screw in it. You can see the peak insulator. So if you undid the 510, uh, you can take that out and give it a good clean, which is what I did last night. So, like I say, post this build deck on here. I think I've cut mine to about 4.55 millimetres. This piece here does spin round as well which is a little bit annoying because when you put the deck back on, because like I alluded to earlier on, we've got notches that stick out on the sides here and they have to marry up with the uh, recess bits on the tank. So you sort of line it up like that, get it to lock that, but it won't just spin. You have to sort of twiddle that piece as well. So I, what I do is just clip it into place like that and then it should just do up. Just make sure we don't lose all your O-rings. Right, so that is that. We are gonna now put a, throw a little build in this one. Try and get chat back. I seem to have lost it again. Adam Westham is in the house. Rufus, still waiting on a fast tech order from February, anyone? Had the same, yeah. I think a lot of people have been having issues with their fast tech orders, to be honest. I've just recently ordered the um, Scylla or Cilia or whatever it's called, the clone from 3F8. 
So, and he did that uh, yesterday, so that should be coming in God knows when. What's up, Leaf? How are you doing, buddy? Right, I'm just going to have a few puffs on this, and then we're going to throw a build in this uh, little bad boy. What's up, Big D? Right, anyone that's just joining us, you have just um, uh, missed a bit of a meltdown moment <laughs> where I was trying, trying to break the tank apart, but you can always watch the rerun if you want to watch that. But, uh, yeah, I've shown basically the, the basics of the tanks. So we are going to put a build in in a minute. Adam Wesson, I made a huge mistake of ordering a Destiny RTA from DJ Vape and it's not arrived, so I went to the website, no contact information. Looked at Trustpilot and they are scammers. I'm not sure, I've never used that one before, to be honest. I think a few of you are having a little chat about that. Oh, right, they're a Chinese site, it looks like. Nice to hear, Lethal. Yeah, everybody, obviously, we're all locked down in our houses throughout the world. Uh various people have been suffering losses and this that and the other so for anyone that has done i uh, my whole heart goes out to you because it is an absolute uh, terrible situation we are faced with so i thought i'd do a little live review touch base with my subs i haven't put anything up for about a month the last one was the manta rta uh, which is a bit of a retro review so we are back here today so i hope everyone's safe and doing well but uh, we're gonna have another swig of this and then we'll get on with the bill yeah source more obviously are good source more are the ones that have actually supplied this particular rta and when i get stuff from them it only usually takes about a week two weeks so that's really good going so big thumbs up for source more for supplying this one Right, so we're going to use the Ev Dillo, Evil Dildo. This is going to be fun doing this live, I tell you. Oh, here's the mob we're using. Let's turn it off first, actually. This is a dual 21700 device, and it accommodates 30 millimeter atomizers, such as the Ares. So check out the review I've done on this. So these aren't that dear either i think i paid about uh actually i got it from source more for nothing but i think you can pick them up for about 40 quid something like 45 dollars but i think mark mills has got one in chat and they really are an awesome uh device so highly recommended if you want to get a 30 millimeter atomizer right so here we are we are going to try and get that a little bit better focus Excuse me, guys. We haven't got uh, the old uh, M50 Super Duper camera. We're using Logitech today. Shit. Right. It's not going to be perfect, but that'll do. I can actually zoom in a little bit as so. well. There you go, how does that look? Looks shite. Actually, we're not going to zoom in. What a time for that to not work. It's not letting me bloody configure it now. right just bear with me guys i'm just trying to get the logitech software to work i do believe there is um new s software out for logitech but i haven't downloaded it yet jocelyn wiggler usually i charge two pound 57 for my comments but you can have this one for three nice one jocelyn rufus came right Right, that looks shite, and I'm trying to adjust it for you, so just bear with me. Uh, 
that's about as good as you're going to get, I'm afraid, today, guys. So apologies for that. But anyway, let's crack on. What's up, Stuart Ayrton? Daryl Batian or Bashian? Right, hello to everyone that's just joined us. We are going to put a little build in here now. Right, get all me the tools. Mark, I'm because I'm using pre-built calls. I'm just going to leave them at five wraps, mate. The ones I have been using, I did some four millimeter ones here. These these are from Geekvabe, these particular ones. But I I basically the braided ones did them at four mil because you do need a lot more cotton than you'd think with this one. Otherwise, you could get leaking issues. But I was getting some tremendous flavor with the four mils. The three mils that I tried, the flavor wasn't as good, and I was getting a little bit of leaking. So. What we're using today is uh, Nature Vape Alien Calls here. They kindly supply it. Mark at Nature Vape, he kindly supplies the calls for the channel. So we've got stainless steel 316L, 0.3 per call. It should be anyway, but I've made them a little bit bigger. And uh, these are, like I say, stainless steel and very nice calls. You get them, get them in packs of 8 or 10, I do believe. But there we are. And they are mass-produced calls, but nothing wrong with them whatsoever so check out nature vape if you want to get yourself some calls they do a variety of different ones just look in here we've got three core parallels we've got four core parallels we've even got one core um one core parallel uh, parallels in there somewhere which are mouth to lung calls look 1.34 of a call so lovely variation You've got stainless steel, there's NI80, and I believe there's camphor on the site. So do check out Mark at Nature Vape, uh, Nature Vape's website if you want to know more about that. Get yourself some calls. Right, so we've obviously got to undo the screws. And I'm do just doing a dual call build. We're not doing any triple calls in here. To be honest, I don't like really hot vapes, and I just think that you're going to get um, it's going to be too restrictive the airflow. I haven't actually tried it in triple core, and I don't intend to because I just can't see if you've got airflow coming through the sides um, of here, I can't see you getting enough airflow to actually go underneath that third core. So for me, I just do it in dual core. Every time I put fully charged batteries in the mod, the right hand battery channel is fine and shows us fully charged, but left hand battery will shows way less than half. No problems at all with my one, mate. But if uh, it looks like you have contacted you well, so thanks for putting that on there. Can't bloody see the screws. Are they one done? God, it's so hard doing this. Live on it. Afternoon, Crump. What's up, buddy? Right, just have a little vape. Like I say, there's no mad rush for this. I was hoping it was only going to last an hour, but it's, we're on to three quarters of an hour already. Right, so like I said, we're using some alien cores, but I've actually made them uh, from Nature Vape. I've made them 3.5 mil. Using my coiling rod, I just basically... For oh, fuck's sake, what's up with that one? That wasn't like that a minute ago. God's sake.
fucking ab aborted it now. Yeah, so basically I just got it on my coiling rod. I had all these measured out and everything, and now it's just fucking done that. I can't believe this. So now the legs are the wrong bloody length. This is the thing. You try and make life easier for yourself by doing things Blue Peter style so it doesn't all go tits up on air and then you knock the coil and manage to bugger it up anyway. Oh, fucking bastard. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I just don't believe this. Why does that call look so much um, longer than the other one? I just don't believe this. The fucking call legs are too bloody short on that one. I just don't need shit. But... I'm going to have to fucking redo that call because for some reason it's a lot shorter than it should be. This one's all right. <laughs> oh, get in the bloody hole, will you? Any other reviewers who are watching this, uh, I strongly don't recommend doing a live review. Absolute nightmare. Yeah, operator error indeed, mate. But when you're doing it live, you tend to make a few more errors. Oh, that one has not got long enough legs on it. Fucking thing. Mark Mills, how many millimetres do I cut them at? Is it five or four and a half? I can't remember. Don't sit on your core, is it? I think I did them at five, so... <sighs> Trouble is, I need to stretch them first. Right, so here's how you stretch a three mil cord. You just sort of ease up both ends, put it around the 3.5 mil part of your call, and then you've got it 3.5, just like that. And the other trick you can do is sort of bend that one down, especially if you're using a post this, and it just makes uh, the leg a little bit uh, straighter there, so it's easier to get in. So you can do that before you use the cord, in fact. There you go. Not bad, is it? Right, get your cordy tool. You don't have to use this, but it, if you want to make life easier, it does come in very handy. Don't film with kids, animals and mate. You can all swivel on that, all right? Doing the best I can. There you go. Get it at five mil and then firmly cut underneath. Don't lose the bits of wire because when you tread on them, they are a little bit painful. Check this out. 
I've just found another O-ring on the floor, so I'm not sh quite sure where that one went. Sure, I had all the O-rings on here. We'll soon find out later on if it starts pissing out everywhere. Right, so we got one of the calls here. There we go. So let's put this one in. I did them at five mil. Two tone cordy tool. No, that one is a, a special edition one. MF ape, uh, and it's a silver version. Big love to Simon Cordy tool for that. Also got the uh, the red MF eight one here from when I used to have a red logo on the channel. But yeah, you can pick them up for about five or six quid. So really worthwhile doing. Right, you could put a coiling rod in here, but I'm just being... I haven't got any 3.5 millimeter coiling rods. Oh, fuck's sake. It just springs out just like that. Just to give it a little bit of weight. There you go. Right. <laughs> What's up, Tom? Hope you're keeping safe, brother. And that goes for everyone else out there. That ring's not for the tank, boy. <laughs> yeah, that was for something else, eh, mate? God, I, I was talking about the screws not uh, chewing earlier. That one did just give me a little bit of a grinch. You know? Just give it a little bit of a stretch. You know, the bloody quality is awful. Excuse the uh, quality, guys, of the down there. there. It looks a bit, a bit shit, doesn't it? It's even worse now. Don't want to focus at all, does it? Anyway, you get the gist. You can see the bloody calls. So there we go. Right, I do like the space mark calls. Um, you can experiment, pull them inwards, um, whatever. I'm just going to leave them somewhere around there, I reckon. And let's just hope it's over 0 0.1 ohms. I have to turn it out over 0.14. Turn that wattage down a little bit. Do it at 40 watts. Bed the calls in, guys. You want to try and get rid of your hot spots here. I've lost chat once again. Yeah, step one, place fingers on the calls. I've done that many times. I'm sure you have as well, Crump. Right, I tend to like spacing my calls a little bit. So what I do is just pull them gently while I'm doing it. You can do what you want, but this is how I do it. And you find that you get rid of the hot spots easy by spacing it as well. There you go, a little bit of gentle spacing. And try and put it that way up. They're going to be high enough, I reckon they are. So what you want to do, guys, anyone that's watching this that isn't familiar with building, pulse your calls. You don't want to go too mad with it, but you want to, the idea is it for to start glowing evenly from the inside out, just like that. Give it a few breaks. Right, there you go. That should be that. 
So the next thing to do is turn your mod off and blow on the bloody coals because you want them to cool right down before you get your wicks in. Lips on calls, yeah, bloody hell. <laughs> no worries, Adam. I must admit, I'm a little bit disappointed at the quality of this um, webcam for the download, but you'll have to bear with me, guys. I think we're getting the gist here. I thought we'd do a little live review for a change instead of the old uh, other thing. Because the, the thing is, what you got to remember, I'm actually working from home at the moment, so... We just go up the top a minute before we put the cotton in. So this is my home now in the living room. So got everything set up here against the wall. We got the windows and seafront out there. But obviously I'm working from home five days a week. The weekends we tend to try and chill out. But this is obviously a family household. We've got the two boys in their own bedrooms and we've also got least so I can't just spend all my time in here taking over the um, living room so that's why I haven't been doing any reviews or anything like that uh, recently and the fact that I haven't really got much in to review but um, let's go back down low now so I am I've used a piece of uh, Muji cotton here I think Muji works very well indeed just cut it into a couple of strips take the top and the bottom off Right, this is the the main part with this tank. You do need to use quite a bit of a uh, juice. I need another vape. I don't normally put my juice on until I've put the cotton in. To be honest, mate, I like letting letting them cool down. But you can put juice on if you want. Right, so I've just pulled the top and the um, bottom off my pad here. How are we all doing then, guys? For those that have endured all of this, I salute you. Still got 40 people watching in the house, so big love to you all. Let's get that cotton in. Right, top and bottom off your Muji pad. Give it a little bit of a roll. Right, let's feed this cotton in then. You know, a bit too much in there. Doesn't help that the um, the surface is all bloody slippy on here. Right, there you go. Get it nice and tall, not too tight, not too loose. Right. Right, it's just eyeball it. I'm not the only one struggling. I'm glad I'm not the only one, mate. Right, so give your cotton a little floof up. I've got Muji here, so I do tend to give it a little bit of a rake out as well, just to break out the cotton a little bit so it's wicks up a little bit easier not too mad though because like I say with this one you do need to make sure you've got enough in there we're just going to start with one side first so let's get that cotton in there I can pull a bit out the other side um, in a minute 
Because with this one, you, you just want to dam off this, really. Don't want it... You don't need it all the way to the bottom. So when you look at the, the actual wicking port, I've just got it tucking out there a little bit, so you can always pull that through a little bit more as well. Right, so everyone else in chat then, what um, what are you all doing? Are, are some of you been furloughed? Are some of you still working? Or others uh, been laid off or anything like that? People working from home or got any key workers in the audience? By that I mean health workers, we've got postal workers, shop workers. Security guards, I expect that Davey, uh, Red Vapes, he's probably still working. Luckily for me, I'm still allowed to work from home because I do accountancy. I can log in from my computer at home and uh, actually get into the system at work, So, which is bloody good. So I can still work and I'm still getting paid, which is bloody marvellous. Unfortunately, Lisa has been furloughed, though, so there's no guarantee that her job's going to be there at the end of it, which isn't so good. Right, there we go. Something like that. God, it's so hard to know what way around you got it. So that looks nice and fluffy. Today we're going to put some mandarin cheesecake in, because that's what I've got in the, um, the Glass V2, and we are going to do a bit of a taste comparison. This is Jack Rabbit's uh, Vapes, three milligram. I'm Mechanic Steve Jones, still working. Nice one, Steve. Forget about mechanics, actually. Rev went back to work Monday after three weeks off. Essential worker back in working right now. David Furlow, furlough was meant to be back here on Monday, but it is, will be another week furlough. Nick Joad, as it goes, this is my first Easter holiday in 16 years. Bet you're enjoying that then, Nick, albeit you can't really do a lot. Stuart, been home for three weeks on 80% pay. Nice little extra holiday for me. That's good if you've got a job to go back to, Stuart. Um, fucking skint here, zero income. Sorry to hear that, Mark. I did read something on the F TVP group the other day, and I hope they have sorted out those universal credits. The trouble is, we've got about at least half a million to a million people all uh, applying, so the HMRC is obviously snowed under with taking the bloody applications, which is a nightmare. Rob Gain, still working, drive a garbage truck, lost a few hours a day, but at least getting my 40 hours a week. That's good to hear. Right, uh, just Google Destiny RTA for Sale UK and up they came. Website, it's fantastic, all UK prices. Right. On dolls and nothing changed. Right, okay, right, let's get some juice on this bad boy and then we can go back up top and give it a puff and I'll tell you what I think about it, talk about it. Yeah, so anyone who has lost jobs and shit like that like Mark Mills the fucking heart goes out to me because it is shit I know Lisa's been mortified herself because she's been doing her studying for her law uh, Silex qualifications and she was due to do her level 6 starting in September but basically they've furloughed her for two months uh, but they've said it'll have to it depends on what the, the market's doing. So if there's still no business, people aren't using lawyers, then she ain't necessarily got a job to go back to. Then she was due to start her next lot of studying, which the firm are paying for, and they've shat her out a bit because they haven't given her her latest uh, books and that, which is a bit shit. So she's stuck at home. She could be studying, and she's got no bloody books to revise from, which is a bit crap. Right, so let's give that a little puff. A little... Let's get that nicely juiced up. I 
What's my opinion of the mod? I think the you if you've watched my review, I think I know I love the mod, mate. This is the Ev Dillo. I've had absolutely no problems at all. The battery's staying there. I've had no battery mismatches or anything like that. It's just a mod that works and carries on working for me, touch wood. Right, so there we go. Line up your doodars, your notchy pieces with the bits on here, the, the proud pieces. So that clicks like that. And what I do is take it off the mod. You can do it up on the base, but you have to twiddle it by hand. So go like that. Get that nice and tight. And then you can put that back on the mod. All right, put that back on there. I'm going to shut the airflow off because it does help. Shut the airflow off when you're filling. Right, we've got this in shorty mode, so I believe it's six mil it can hold. Get that top back on. Where's my drip tip gone? And if you're lucky, it won't piss out the um, the bottom. If you're unlucky like me, it probably will. So what I tend to do is open up the air for now and give it give it a pull like that to re release uh, any air out of there. It stops it fucking doing it sometimes. But I am getting some seeping around the edge of these airflow holes. The O-rings aren't the best in the world with this one. So let's go back up top and here we are again. So what's up everybody? Cheers Lethal. That was hard work doing it live mate. But we got there in the end. Just bear with me. We'll just tidy up a little bit around here and then we'll have it, give it a little bait. Put this lot over here, get them out of the way. Right, so like I say, it is a 30 millimeter atomizer, this one. And they've come a long way with 30 mil atties. So many of them give good flavor these days. Line up your dodders and bits. What's up, Street Sleeper 4? I've not tried it as a dildo, mate. But that's what we're looking like with the thingy on top. In fact, let's put a different drip tip on. Let's put the... Well, actually, I'm using that on the glass, aren't I? I've only got... I need another mod for my glass V2. We're going to have to just... Actually, we've got that. There you go. Let's get the glands on the other one. I know it looks a bit shit, we got it on the morph, so the, that goes like that. Crank the wattage up of that as well. Right, right glands is in order. Put out on 70. Right, so the build's coming out at 0.14 in the end. Got it 70 watts. Let's give it a puff. Oh, the first puff, that is just awesome. That pisses the Glass V2 out of the park just on one puff, I know that. Oh, just bear with me, I'm gonna get a drink. I think I deserve a cheeky little old mount uh, cider here. We got kiwi and lime. Right, so this Atty, guys, I got it from Sawsmall. So they sent it over free of charge for the purpose of this review. So big uh, thanks to Sawsmall for that. And I believe the going rate is something like between 30 and 40 pounds. Although I did see eSig1 for doing them for about 28 quid the couple of weeks ago or so. So. If we do this like we normally do with the re review, we're doing build quality and fit and finish and all of that. So if we start 
with that. I, I like the box that comes with it. I like the fact that you get a lot of spares in there. You get three cores, you get your cotton, and you also get a, a spanner and this other little thing for tightening up the mod or for undoing the mod, which is really good. It makes uh, getting the chimney uh, apart a lot less fiddly. And here we are, because we've got like the hex bits on here, it means you can get the extender off and on so much easier. No need for marigolds with this particular tank, which is one of my main cons for the Trilogy RTA. Uh, I've buggered up my threads on that. If you haven't watched it already, go and check out the Trilogy review, which we've got here, which is also 30 millimeters. So I can't put this in tool mode. But with the GTA series, I really like the threads on it. They go together very well indeed. Uh, the AFC ring is a little bit loose, to be honest, but it does spin nice and freely. The build deck, uh, it's really, it's not too bad to build on. You just saw it down low. You can put a triple coil in there if you want. That means you're going to make sure you've got more cotton in there. But so if you're going to do it in dual coil mode, use three and a half mil and above because otherwise you'll find that you might not have enough cotton and it will start seeping out the airflow holes. But as you can see there, I've just built that up and I gave it a little wipe. There was hardly anything there, but because the O-rings, that's one of my cons for this, the O-rings around the top, around everywhere, are not the best, to be honest. They're these clear ones you've got here and they're not the best O-rings in the world. So that is a thumbs down for me uh, with this particular RTA. But overall, the build quality is pretty good. If they put some fatter O-rings on there, it would be uh, no problems at all with it. But I like the top cap. You can take the top off very easy, no problems at all. Right, what should we go on to next? Let's give it a, a little pull. Right, with this, you can put the wattage up a little bit. I had that in 70. I'm going to put it up to 85 now with it fully open now. Here we go. Right, so it has got a little bit of restriction this. I'll just read Mark Mill's comment there. The way I have stopped weeping with fillings, but leaving the cocktails long to fill up the wicking port, wick ports. You can do that if you like. My ones, to be honest, they're probably, I think they would start to fall down a little bit. They definitely were um, not too short. Like I did the FP on the live build the other day, and that was too short, and it ended up pissing out the FP. To be honest, this one isn't weeping at all for me, so I must have done an all right job with the wicking. Let's just have a look underneath. So you can't really see, but it is still dry underneath, which is good to see. But yeah, you could have some seeping issues with this particular one. So uh, airflow rating, we'll have 10 as a super wide vape and one being a super tight vape. Here we go. Right, depends how big your calls are, this, that and the other, but for me, that is a little bit restricted, about 7, 7.5 maybe. Maybe an 8. So it's quite it's quite airy, but it's not super airy. Sort of a, a bit middle of the road sort of airiness. It's breaking in now. I did get a bit of a spit back a minute ago. But that is settling in nicely. <laughs> The hit you get off this is something else, man. I'm nicked out after three puffs. But, um, yeah, should we get on to a flavour rating? Here's the Glass V2. This is one of my favourite 30mm ones. We've had the FP on the go recently. We've had the Trilogy. We've had the, uh, the Plus. We've got them all sitting on here. And we've also had the Fatality. To be honest, the fatality isn't 30 millimeter. It's only 28, my one is, so it doesn't really uh, class as a 30 millimeter uh, for me because uh, I've got the clone version. But um, of all the other ones, uh, the Aries, uh, that's not the Aries, the Aries blows them out of the park for the flavor I'm getting from it. I, I had this sneaking feeling it would do. Because I, I've wicked up the last three or four weeks, we've had all those other tanks on the go, and I've been vaping them for a week at a time. And at the moment, we've got the Glass V2. Let's put that up to the same wattage, 80 watts. I 
obviously this hasn't got fresh wick, but I did put it in yesterday. But I'm getting a big difference there. Different sort of vapes. The, the glass is quite crisp, but the full bodiedness I'm getting with the um, Aries. You can even knock it off a little bit more. If, if you go round a little bit, you can sort of have the middle row a little bit more and it uh, narrows off the top and bottom row. But that mandarin cheesecake from uh, Jack Rabbit's is just tasting awesome. Just tingling on my taste buds. So, yeah, for me, this gets a 9.5 out of 10 for flavour, and it probably is my uh, favourite uh, RTA for flavour, uh, both single and dual core. So, yes, it has got some flaws, this one. Uh, it can seep if you don't put enough cotton in. You need to learn how to wick it. I'm not getting any seeping now after wicking it like that. So it's working for me. Uh, so that's a good thing. But the flavour is really good. I'm really looking forward to getting the Aroma Miser Plus V2, which should be arriving at some point when it uh, gets finally shipped from China. But I haven't got it yet. But yeah, I think G Taste have done a bloody good job with this one. Like I say, just need to put better O-rings in and it would be um, a whole lot better. So that is basically the review, guys. Uh, we have been going a long time here, about an hour and a quarter just to do a review, but it just shows you how long it takes sometimes to do full build and everything. Yeah, 0.14 it's coming out, Crom. And we're using some uh, aliens here from Nature Vape. Because I've made them three and a half mil, they should be 0.15. It's, um, it's gone coming out... 0.14 it says 0.3 per call but I've made them slightly bigger what do you think it will leak through the bad o-rings I think the o-rings have got a lot to do with it because you can feel something it's not too bad at the moment but it's also the wicking you've got to make sure you've got enough cotton in there the way I've got it I have got it uh, stuffed in there but it is very nicely fluffed out and it's damming up so there's no like holes around top you can put it in there longer mark mills and chat reckons it sorts out the seeping by putting them in longer so ju you just got to do trial and error as uh, ever with these sort of rtas but i'm not getting any leaking at the moment i'm happy with that one but you may find after a few days it might start to get a little bit seepy to be honest mark I haven't tried the fatality. That's one I forgot to actually wick up. But um, from the ones I've done recently, this is definitely right up there. Fatality has got awesome flavour, but this is nice and smoother. I think this is smoother airflow you're getting with the, the Aries because you've got the honeycomb. But yeah, really happy with that art. It's bloody really nice and deep. O-rings will go brown with better juices. Well, this Jack Rabbits is a premium juice, mate, but um, I tend to wash my tanks. So I haven't noticed them going brown or anything like that. But anyway, guys, so I don't want to go on any too much longer uh, with this one. Let's just have a look at the chat again and see if I missed anything. What's up, Tetley, man? A bit of an older schooler look to that one. Yeah, so it's, it sort of goes in at the waist a little bit as well. I think it looks pretty nice. It definitely looks better in shorty mode. If you're only just uh, coming into the review, if you want to see my nightmare early on, check it out. We had a bit of fun on here earlier on, trying to put it all back together again. Cheers, Simon. You too, brother. So, guys, we are going to knock it on the head now. So... Big love to everybody for coming into this uh, live review on the Easter Saturday. It's, uh, I really do appreciate it. For all the subs we got on the channel, we recently hit 4,000 subscribers. Got over 4,100 now, so that's awesome. So long may it continue to get up to the 5K in the next few months would be really good. Hopefully by the end of the year. But um, 
yeah thanks for everyone that's been interacting in chat for anyone that's just been ghosting watching the review thank you as well and i hope you're all staying safe out there right what's tom saying here fortune still have work quarantine for some time because of my rare disease there are 400 corona patients at my hospital shit sorry to hear that tom i i, I did hear that they are doing that with the uh, vulnerable people out there so hopefully you won't uh, contract it mate and uh, big love and I hope you stay self mate but sorry to hear that cheers Stuart and uh, right let's leave it there guys uh, like I say it's only banter will be on next Saturday I don't think it's going on tonight but uh, until next time I'll see you all very soon so take care and big love to you all cheers <laughs>